there we go. All right, we got the passenger side in. We got the easy side done. So everything looks good. Everything lines up perfect. Uh, no issues, no nothing. So groovy on that part. Everything looks good under there. Can't really see it from right there. It looks pretty good. It's a good looking motor. All right, now the driver's side is going to be the fun one. Because I've been trying to get it up from the bottom right there, uh, coming up. You know, normally how you would have to do a driver's side up uh, from the bottom up, because that comes from the top down on the driver's side. Now this, I've tried already to get it to come up to make the bend right past the exhaust down there, but I'm getting hung on the steering, <clears throat> excuse me, steering rod, so... If I take the steering rod out of the way, it'll allow me to put to put it down this way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be the easiest and simple thing is just to take the rod out of the way. And yeah. All right. See where I'm at. It's lunchtime here. I'm going to go find me something to eat for, uh, before I do this side. And right, I'll holler y'all taters in a bit. All right. Can y'all see that right there? But to do a little torque on them to tighten them down, you see right there where it's real dark. It's been broke before. But that's my damn look. Where'd that bolt go, Daddy? Hmm. Yeah, I can't see that. But that's my damn look, y'all. Simple something to just turn into a big something or another. Come on. Giving up. <sighs> I'll holler at y'all in a bit. Uh, and I know y'all gonna probably see the little RVT uh, copper seal stuff. I couldn't get on that boat properly uh, at a straight angle. I've tried because the, it's the fenders in the way where it's at. I, I didn't want to have it's either that go by a right angle drill and I will probably never use one again so it'll be I didn't see no sense in it or I had to take the inner fender out and that was a lot of extra work and daddy daddy said just to uh you know double up on the gasket we went and uh my buddy James recommended uh to told us to use this this copper RVC2 uh, stuff here for headers so, I mean, it's for exhaust, so I put a lot of this on there, hoping it'll seal up. I've seen some YouTube videos I watched where they were using this, where they had some broke bolts off and couldn't get them out. So they used doubled up on the gasket and used this. So that's what we did. I doubled up on it. I put that on there. Uh, I'm just, you know, kicked me yesterday. I was down and out, so uh, you can kick me more. I'm up pumps leaking now i don't know why but uh, it's just my luck <laughs> but it is what it is we're getting closer i got this done i got you can see i got the uh, pulleys on the front which now i don't know why the power steering pump's leaking i looked it's not coming from the front seal maybe one of the bolts or something uh i don't know I have to, i'm gonna look at it tomorrow i'm doing but we got the we got the exhaust on that's what i wanted to show you that's done uh, the other one's done so I'm just keep our fingers crossed that that fixes this, you know, at least seals the leak off. If I just got a little bit of sound, I'll be I'll be I'll be okay. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, I'm doing. It's raining. I'm ready for a bath, and we're gonna go hit the gym. I uh, holler y'all taters later. All right, catch y'all up where I got to today on this thing. I haven't really been keeping up with what I was doing with it. I'm sorry, I've just been going. I've been working on the exhaust. I got the exhaust done underneath there. Got everything hooked up. Got the starter on, starter wires hooked up. Uh, what else we done under there? Well, everything got the oil pan, uh, the oil filter on. Changed the plugs and everything. Got it back on. Got the uh, plug wires, caps back on. Everything is hooked up as far as I can tell. Uh, Good to go. Got all my braces on here. The ones down there underneath, I got to tighten those up. That one side right there. 
You can't forget that. I got to tighten the one bolt up over here for these braces that run down. I don't know if you can see the tip of it right there, but it's a brace that runs from here down to the dust cover, and I got one on the driver's side as well. I put those back. Uh, putting the belt on, and uh, the radiator is about all I think I got left is getting a radiator in but we're going to order another radiator so that's where we're going to uh pretty much you can look right there in that hole you know that's the wheat hole and then hang on a minute i don't want to drop it i still ended up dropping it I'm trying to manhandle it all right hang on there we go can you see down in there i don't know you can see anything down in there, but it, it's where all the rust down in there. To me, the flues look stopped up, and it's not worth uh, using this. You can see right there through that how how rusty it is. So I'm not going to take a chance. I'm, it, it could be stopped up the flues in there. So we're just we're not using the radiator. I'm just going to order another one. So it'll take a couple of days for it to get here. And then we'll have this thing up and running uh, in the next couple of days. So I'm going to throw these up, show y'all where I got to. And uh, yeah, I think that's about me for now. The wife come out here and said the chicken pot pie is about done. So that is me for today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy and I'll holler at y'all taters later.